responsibilities are with Mizuki. Uh, hey, head pats. Head pats. Her name is Mizuki Date. She's a sixth grader. Her name. Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. <laughs> yeah. Nick man, my source, it came to me in a vision. <laughs> Everyone needs to straighten up their back. I'm actually, like, sitting straight in my chair because I keep falling over. Creak. <sighs> For once, I am not shrimping. Okay. <clears throat> Where is Mr. Date? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. Here. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now, pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Man. Why ponzo of all things? Because I guess uh, her, her fat thighs taste like... Fish? Like tempura? Like, well, like ponzu sauce goes goes good with sashimi. Yeah, well, that's because ponzu is soy sauce with citrus added to it. Yeah. It's for the clam. No, that would give you a wicked fucking infection. <laughs> yeah, that'd give you a wicked infection and UTI. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave, anyway? That other detective mm -hmm. said you still had questions you needed to ask, so... Do you know the victim? Of course. Jin Furoe, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. He's trembling. Her name. I know her name, without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Told Cyclops serial it. killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Oh, by the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related. So, that is just a hunch. Mm. <laughs> Q game. Are you okay? Does she look okay to you? No, that's why we're- What do you think I'm asking? I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. You know the victim? Teleportation. God damn you! Not what? again, guys. Don't do this. That body teleported here from a parallel world! <laughs> Only half of his body was able to make it through. They really did update her model, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they updated everybody's model, and that's why it fucks me up so much <laughs> looking that's at That's why he was split in half. <sighs> Jeez. The camera with the tripod. Even Mizuki's not here for this. Boss, I report directly to her. Why are we here? Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Cho. 
Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, sorry, something came up. Hmm. So in other words, he flaked on her. Yep, that's boss. She is uh, a hottie. She's so mm -hmm. hot. Ridiculously. Also, booba and legs for days. Also, that ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, this is another confirmation that it's not the true timeline because boss is alive. Boss is also. Yes. Well, boss was still alive in the true timeline. No, she was not. No, Her she... original self was killed because Saito literally swapped bodies from uh, Renju to boss. Which Renju died shortly after, which means Boss died with Renju. His boss was I mean, in Renju's timeline, body. It, that, that wasn't the true timeline that that happened in. Yeah. Because no. no. in the true timeline, Saito was stuck in Renju's body for a lot longer due to the fact that he literally couldn't swap bodies because we kept thwarting him at every turn. Let me just double check because, like, I swear everybody lived in the true timeline. No. Because I know that was the thing that I had a realization on when we went into the true timeline that, ah, oh, fuck, this means boss is dead. Because Renju is dead. What we can confirm is that both Renju and uh, Mizuki's mom are dead in this timeline. Okay, it says in the alpha timeline, they are alive. Prime and possible. What? I don't know. There, there's, that it doesn't show, mean it's anything. Showing, it's showing all the different timelines. Okay, let me uh, see what you're looking at. Anyway. <laughs> this is obviously a different timeline because we've already seen that Date has the other body, so it... Yeah doesn't match with anything that happened in the previous games, meaning they did this on purpose so that you would be confused. Well, like I said, it means it's definitely not the true timeline because Date has his original body and Boss is alive. Well, Date has the Saito body. Yeah. Yeah, Boss can break your face with a single swipe of her hand. It's true. Boss tried to go home. But the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. Oh, but she has that skeezy look that the that Saito would wear on her face. Uh. Okay, um, so they don't tell you what the quote-unquote true timeline name is in things. Yeah. So there's So timeline alpha is not Alternate, alpha, and prime imposter. So, uh, she's only dead in one. And none of the others. And I'm pretty sure prime is the one that we win in. But it also might be the alpha timeline. So, yeah, she's not dead in any of the ones that would have been the ending resolution. None of that sounds right, but okay. It, it, we can discuss it later. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge of this case? Hmm. Well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? Okay. Marco says, give me the timelines. He'll figure it out. Marco won't know anything by the end he of that. <laughs> he literally watched all of the series with us. No, no, but I mean, like, I think we're only all going to end up more confused, ultimately. What? Well, okay, me? so... No, we're not doing this right now. I know this case could get dangerous. Because if we do that, then we're not going to get any further in this, and that's yeah. going to be a problem because... We only have 45 minutes left. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. 
<laughs> Mike Ultra might give me the timeline where boss comes out of my screen. But then again, you have a reliable mm. partner with you. Mm -hmm. I'll give you hands on mm -hmm. assistance for this investigation. My oh, God, Tama. Baby. Thank God he's an adult. I was so scared. Excuse me with your words. About the body. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? An evidence marker. Good evening, PCU. Good evening. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Today is February 10th, current time 2200, which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. Damn. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result. Leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... Hmm... Tama? Tama? What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. Doesn't that usually lead to, like, atom bomb explosions? Mm. Oh no, like, atoms, not molecules. Never mind, continue. I don't know anything about anything in science. Um, so this is going to be a little hard to understand, so feel free to skip this if you'd like. Among scientific bonds, there's an intermolecular bond, which uses electrons to bond, and the intermolecular bond which is bonding of a mole of molecules themselves. Hmm. Keep scrolling. Just keep scrolling. <laughs> intermolecular bonds are stronger than intermole than intermolecular bonds. So when something is cut in half, it is usually the intermolecular bond that is severed. However, Jin Furue's body was severed at an intramolecular bond level. That's it for the science part. Please continue to enjoy the main story. We'll do, Tama. I think the I think identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Sorry, what was that, Moon? I said, I think the guy who who made Danganronpa looked at Oshikoshi and said, you are not allowed to explain things in big swaths. <laughs> This time, <laughs> but I wanna. But I wanna. I wanna make the game twenty hours with just exposition. Yeah. Jen Furway, twenty-nine years old, the CEO of Music Food Co. Ltd. He is also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. So what's interesting that I found early on is that the two faces have different expressions the body that we found in today's time when mizuki's older has a different expression from the body here hmm. really i didn't notice that at all yeah they, they have, have different we can look at i don't let me google in but anyway out. you're you're saying but yeah they have two different expressions which is weird mm -hmm. it literally seems like the body was cut in half at different times mm -hmm. oh oh what if they're both different halves of the body from different timelines picks rogue up and puts him outside 
<laughs> no, just just hear me out. Follow me what? for a second. If we talk about this right fucking now, we are not going forward with the story. Okay, again. okay, go. Because <laughs> we will go in and not shut up. Various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. We can always talk about it in the after show. Yeah. This is weird. I can't find any pictures of the other half of his body. What's an effective way of training? Bench press, upright row, back press, deadlift. I want to say bench press. I have no idea. You guys get to pick that shit. It's training for the chesty. Punch power will increase. -y. Well, okay. <laughs> sure. What in the world happened yesterday at six? No, why? I can't. I can't X-ray the body anymore. You have to X-ray the face. Oh, there we go. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Here we go. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. Hi. Maybe oh, by the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. Go ahead. Maybe he had a fake one implanted that had like a film or data or something. Anyway, that was it. It's hard to see it from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? Oh, what the fuck? I don't oh. understand. Right here. It's an enlarged picture there's of Jim's temporal region near the back of his head. Yeah, there's a hole there. Oh, okay. See, it was blending into his hair for me, so I couldn't... Mm. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. Mm. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Hmm. Someone hit him from a behind? blunt object that has some kind of thing. Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. What was that, Rogue? Sorry, just thinking out loud. Oh. Uh, I, I was just saying, how do we know being split in half is how he died? I mean, it's the most obvious thing. He but... must have been cut in two while he was alive. As a trace blunt force trauma to the on the back of Jin's head, it seems unrelated to the death, but. Why did that first molar fall off his upper jaw? Hmm. What are you doing, stepladder? No! Jesus Christ. A holographic boundary line. Uchikoshi didn't throw in the ladder puns. 
a pot on top of a long desk. long table. Wait a second, the last one said it was a long desk. What is this shenanigans? Translator got confused. A heavy door. It's the pudding used by the host. It's a step ladder. Marco. It's a show sign. It says face, faith to face. Okay, what? Oh, there's more What's than What's with this. that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Finally. Okay. Well, we watched the video last Ryuki, time. Ryuki, I've got a connection. Mm -hmm. The QR code link. It leads to a view cube page. Oh, Luna's having a seizure, apparently. No, I'm fine. Mariadoc was just here and I was petting her. Oh. Mm -hmm. View cube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. <laughs> Amazing. Oh good, we get to watch it in-game as well as out of game. And it feels just as familiar as last time. Yep, some analog horror. Yep. Makes me want to vomit, yep. honestly, every time I see it. What? What's wrong, Ryuki? Oh. What the. Bad we can't read Japanese. Though well, judging anyway. judging by the repeating symbols, it's not saying anything important. No. I mean it's probably important, but it's probably also I don't know. Well, the reason why I would I would think it's not important is because it's probably also just for disruption filler data so yeah hey. um are you okay yeah i'm fine <laughs> that doesn't look fine mm. don't worry about me it looks like you need some coffee I'm gonna worry yeah. about you. Well, it's a little fine as a treat.
What the fuck? It waited that long to explode. <laughs> I like how Momo's just like, well, that was fun. It wasn't even so much as an explosion as much as it just erupted into flames. Well, it looked like a, a mushroom cloud, which is why I, I equated yeah. it to an explosion. Yeah, no, I get you. <sighs> Team Zero Escape. Oh, that's what you're calling yourselves oh. now? <laughs> Fuck you! We Koshi, finally got through the prologue. Koshikoshi fucking put put the dang and Rumpa man under his desk and won't let him back out until he lets him do what he wants. Hataro Uchikoshi wrote the scenario. Uh, no. No, it's happening all over again. So I saw the, the Zero Escape mask. Mm. Me too. That's a big ass fucking forehead, man. That's a forehead like mine. Or was that zero? But shut up. We do not need this right now. We don't need this. Oh god. Mama? Welcome to AI of the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. Uh Weaver, yes, we would like I would like the, the translation. 